Hey guys, it's the Page Turners with Noreen here, and I'm here to do a book review on Silent, which is a third instalment in the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. It's part, supposed to be part of my summer book haul, but what summer? Oh god, it's raining all the time in London. Ugh. So those of you who have read those, read the previous two books, um, then it picks up straight away from the second one. If you haven't seen it, then I've done a book review on the second book, Crescento, uh, which I've put the link down below. Um, but those of you who haven't read any of those, any of these books, quick, just a quick breakdown. It's a book about Nephelium, a fallen angel, and the main girl, Nora. She's in the midst of all this chaos, and she's fallen in love with a fallen angel, and everywhere he goes, um, there's always trouble but she can't care. she can't help being drawn to him and falling in love with him eventually. For those of you who have read the previous two books um, then you know what the story is about. The book picks up from the second book which left us on a cliffhanger. This book Nora found out that she's she's been kidnapped, she's lost all her memory throughout that summer and the weeks before that summer so she can't remember anything and this book throughout the whole book she's trying to piece those mem these missing gaps in the memory and no one's trying to get anything. She goes at herself to find those answers. She doesn't know who patches the person that she's been in love with. In time her name comes to her ears or kind of like overpowering sensation of passion. Patch, on the other hand, has made a deal with one of the kidnappers to stay as far as possible from Nora. She's left out of all the whole Nephilim and Fallen Angel business and the war between Fallen Angels and um, Nephilim. In terms of the review, the character's perspective, Patch in this book for me kind of lost his bad boy appeal, um, the lust and passion that was there from the beginning and the kind of broody and moody um, attitude, and especially in the first book, was gone, totally gone in this in this third book. Um, I understand because he's trying to show more of his emotional and sensitive side to the readers and to Nora especially, um, but yeah it just didn't do for me, like it was a whole other character. Nora annoyed me as always, just like she did, uh, especially in the second book. This one she even softened, but she's still annoyed Mel likes to put herself in danger. One of the other characters which I talked about in the second uh, Crescendo vlog, which is again down and below in the link, Scott Palmer, which is a family friend of Nora, I really really liked him. He's a really nice character. Um, another character that we introduced is Hank Miller, which is uh, Marcy's Miller's dad, her arch enemy. I was quite surprised with ultimate gender in this book and I really liked how Becca portrayed him and his personality. I thought it was really good. Let's just say the guy is a total psycho. In terms of the plot, um, this plot wasn't really actually riveting. There's a lot of information. But it's the same kind of old song and dance but between the and versus the fallen angels. Um, there was a different, there was information about archangels but it wasn't a lot. A lot of information, it jumped from rapidly from one to the other and it's quite diff very different from the first book which is quite like a love, simple love story between Nora and Patch. So that was my review of the book. So I gave this book 3.5, half a finger. Check out all the links down below and I'll see you soon. Bye! I need a new ending and perhaps a new beginning as well.